I'll be remembered probably you Go McDonald's the baddest that I would turn to CEO with the shit that's a dumb motherfucker He'll always win There's no going on at the top of the crown Resting on his head The beast is alive He'll never be dead If he drunk before Bring it back to life Push harder for it Let us survive Show courage and strength It's okay to be scared But don't let it stop you Always stay prepared Bill show my school They're just not beginning Winners fucking win losers Talk about winning Welcome to the Bearded Beast Show My name is Bill And I am the Bearded Beast my special guest today, Esma Whitekiller, owner of Feel This by Simply Bear. Esma, how are you? Hello. Hi. Thank you so much oh, for you're, having me on your show. You're I'm very so welcome. About this. You're very welcome. So we can officially announce to everyone listening that you will be the official skincare expert for the Bearded Beast Show, correct? Yes. All right. Yes. So, so we're going to have you on... As a regular guest, we'll be sharing lots of information. Do me a favor. Just give my listeners a little bit of background about who you are and what you do. So thank you so much. Uh, my name is Esma Whitekiller, and I'm a skincare developer. I'm a mom, sister, daughter, wife, um, and I'm an entrepreneur, your average daily entrepreneur. What what exactly is it that you what do you give give me an idea where can we go to find you you got a website what do you sell what do you what is it in the skincare line you have to offer So I I'm a, a skincare developer I've been making hand making skincare uh, for about a decade using all natural ingredients All right hold on hold, uh, hold before, on hold on for one second everybody <laughs> did everybody hear what she said did you say hand making Yes. So uh, you, so you make this stuff yourself? Plastic. Yes. From start to finish. Wow. That's incredible. Yep. I don't know how many people out there actually do that. So I use uh, salts, sugar, butters, oils, herbs, and uh, no water, no chemicals, no perfume, no colors, no preservatives. I don't know how to play with any kind of chemical. Um, my core value is if it, if you could put it on your body and it washes down into the water, I want it to be beneficial all the way around. Okay. You just said something really important that I hope everybody picked up on because a lot of people don't. You mentioned, you just said quickly core values. So yep. you, you obviously so, have some core values that you stand by as a company, correct? Uh, absolutely. There are certain, uh, standards that I set for my business and my vision that even I'm not allowed to cut corners on. So no cutting corners. You're not sacrificing anything for, for the product that you're producing, right? Absolutely not. So let's talk about the chapstick for a minute. That's one, that's something you said that you hand make from start to finish. How long does that process take? Um, about 30 minutes to an hour. Now, how, how many melting to cool down? So how many um, of, I could would do, that be? I usually do about 100 to a batch. Wow. So depending on how many I have, uh, you know, orders to get out, if I have any store orders or um, if I'm planning for an event or something like that, um, sometimes I'll make a few batches in a row. Wow, that's very um, interesting. I just line them up and I, I pour it the old school way. I don't have like one of those tray things or anything. I just, you know, that's, I used, I wanted to be a cardiologist for the longest time, but <laughs> I make skincare, but <laughs> my hands are very steady. So I, <laughs> I just, that's the, I, you know, I just breathe very slowly and I focus and. All right. So um, here's something I want. When I'm in that zone, I'm go ahead. Here's something I want from you. I want a video the next time that you make the product. I want a video of this process. Can I get one of those from you? I can do that. All right. I can set that up. I, I really need to see how that how that goes down because that I don't know. I I couldn't be a cardiologist, but I don't think I could. I don't think <laughs> I would have the steady hand to do what you're doing. But I, I need to see this. <laughs> no, I, I glove up and I put the bandana on and I got my apron and. I'm jamming, you know. Wow, that's um, that's pretty neat. And you know, um, if if you allow me, we can share it for everybody. I can post it out there so everybody gets an understanding of exactly what we're talking about. Because I think there's a lot of people that would like to see that process and see exactly what it is that you do. I mean, this is all natural. 
Yeah, I've I've yet to uh, share the back end of anything that I do. I'm physically in person at a lot of my events, and I'm very one to one with all my clients. Um, so I'm very reachable. When people reach out to me, they know they can get a hold of me and they can ask me the questions. So before um, before we get into some of your background, then where where can people reach out to you? How can they get a hold of you? So on any of my social media, on my personals, that's my white killer. Um, I don't have any weird names on there. Um, as far as business goes, my website is it's food for your skin.com. So, um, it's kind of like me telling somebody what's inside the product and it's food for your skin. That's what I make. Um, or, uh, feel this skincare one S is my handle for the business, uh, on Instagram and Facebook. Okay. All right, everybody. So if you're trying to get I'm a hold of I'm around on TikTok, but <laughs> barely. You're gonna <laughs> barely. get some you're gonna get some videos rolling, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the same handle. It's feel this skincare. Um it's very minimal right now, but I have vowed to be more consistent. All right. So you you did share a story with me before we came on. That you you did you went to did you say it was maybe a, a campus or a college campus or something and you were walking around with the product and you were telling people to feel this? Um, no, I was walking around cannabis expos. There we go. So, whenever the Oklahoma cannabis industry was legalized <laughs> and it was put into effect, there you know we had all these you know Canacon and Green, green Grow and like a bunch of ex that were big trade shows where a lot of the brands came out and I, I still didn't have a tent I didn't have anything yet um, I just put my product in my chaps like my chapstick and my butter was like <laughs> in my little bag and I walked around and I just gave everybody like chapstick and I let them feel the butter I was like feel this feel this it's food for your skin <laughs> so <laughs> that's where it comes from is literally for me doing that I did like events back to back for couple weeks I think and that's what right there is when I was like oh man I need to I need to rebrand it needs to be called feel this it's food for your skin because yeah it's perfect that's what I kept telling everybody um, yeah I love the name of it so do you have any events coming up are there still events going on um I I'm doing the strawberry festival in Stillwell Oklahoma that's coming up on the 13th I believe and um, that's as far as like upcoming, like very, very new. Um, All right, let's for let, the month of May. let's get into some of your backstory because you, okay. I, I believe you got a really good story to tell. So this is going to be broken down in many Thank segments, you. right? We're gonna we're gonna have you on as a regular guest, but I w- I really want you to share your story with everybody so they can understand exactly how relatable you are and how much you stand behind your product and you believe in in what you're doing, because I've had some, some conversations with you, you know, via, um, messaging. And I really believe that, that you totally believe in everything that you're doing. This is not a hobby for you. This is not something that you just do on the side. You're, you want to create a product that is the, is, will benefit everyone who can use it. Right. And you're saying that, that, yep. that babies can use it. Correct. Yep. I, you know, my product can realistically be in every single household across the globe. So it, so it everybody if I can take use 1% it. one percent of that, you know what I mean? Everybody can use it. Um, from a newborn, like very, very gentle. So my my thought process is if I can make my products safe for babies and gentle enough to use on baby skin, then everybody else can use it, right? As you grow. So I have a lot of construction guys that you know have rough skin that can use it i have um some moms who need it for bug bites and diaper rash i have some teenagers who are using my uh spf under their makeup you know what i mean so it could literally be for everybody in the household um the same jar you could share it between everybody even you know so if you just keep a jar of butter at the house you can use it for your dog for hot spots um you know so everything revolves around this butter and then the chapstick is my favorite that's just like my baby out of the products explain to everybody a little bit about the butter a little bit about the chapstick and how how does this relate to the cannabis industry 
Um, so I, I was in the car business when the cannabis industry opened up and, uh, my whole thought process was I wanted to use cannabis and study hemp versus marijuana and what it does on the skin. Because I did so much studying of like, you know, chocolate and lemon and lavender. And I know what basil does on your skin. Um, but I didn't know what cannabis did. And I knew that, you know, just based off of what I, what little I knew, you know, that it had great benefits, but I really wanted to know myself. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to tap into it and see what I could do. And, um, then I, I quickly learned that it has antibacterial properties. So most of my products are created to cleanse and calm the skin cells. So anything hot, red, itching, burning, blistering, you know, um, cuts, scrapes, bug bites, anything inflamed. It's meant to just clean it, clean the skin cells and calm them down where they could just heal on their own. It's not a miracle product. I don't promise like anti-aging or anything like that. I just promise a holistic healing process where it's a tool that helps your body heal itself. So cannabis was such an untapped plant that we can use for our bodies because our systems have a what's called the endocannabinoid system. So you're you're born with this system in your body and it's just within your cells and you also have an external one on like on your skin and nobody knew anything about that you know everybody was so focused on cannabis and smoking and you know this and that that there was this huge gap that could you know bridge that stigma and understanding like you know we could use this plant for shelter for food for your skin for for anything medically. And, um, I became an advocate very quickly and, uh, an educator because I studied so hard. Um, I just remember staying up to like 2 AM, you know, just down the rabbit hole, uh, <laughs> reading and studying and, uh, you know, trying to gather information because I wanted to be able to help people with it. I wanted to be one of those people that, uh, allows that doorway to open into new holistic methods of really, I want people to go back to basics. You know, we have, so we live in such an age of fast disposable chemical instant that I just want people to slow down and really, um, whenever it comes to self care and whenever it comes to skincare, I want them to feel their skin and help it heal and help it um, you know, just be, you know, fall in love with their skin as they're using these skin products, um, instead of just using it, throwing it away, have it be a chemical that's full of beads and toxins that's killing our fish. You know, there's such a cycle with it that we don't think about because skincare, deodorant, sunscreen, you know, just lotion, things like that. We use it every day, but we don't think about the chemicals that go into these products that are going right into the oceans that are coming back to us, right? We're, we're still eating the food and everything. So, so everything that you put on your body washes down the drain. And I really just, I want to make a difference when it comes to skincare and beauty um, by standing behind the planet, by uh, offering people an option that's a hundred percent, um, just plant-based ingredients, no, no, no preservatives whatsoever. Um, and that's, that's how I ended up helping a lot of babies because, um, versus steroids and things like that, they didn't have any adverse reactions. It was just something that helped calm the diaper rash down or something. You know, there was no, there's no long list of side effects that come with it. So, um, so far in the last decade, I've been able to help majority of my clients and, um, it's just become a part of me. It's become my mission to reach as many people as I can out there to give them that option. I think what you're saying is, is very, very, very important. And the thing that we just, you know, as we go about our daily lives, we take everything for granted. We take 
you know, looking outside, we take the earth for granted. We every, you know, listening to you say that everything you put on yeah. your skin washes down the drain can filter into our water systems, into our oceans, streams, lakes, into our food. Right. So yeah. it sounds to me like, you know, you have the natural ingredients that the same way we should be looking at food. We, we pump ourselves full of so much, you know, shit that's in these preservatives in this, in this, but it, cause it's mm-hmm. convenient, right? So it, it's convenient to run to the store and just grab a, whatever skincare lotion I've been using for the past 10 years, because it's the one I've always used and I'm accustomed to, but I don't know. I don't really know what's in it. Just like I don't pay attention and most people don't pay attention to what they're eating. But if we did those things and slowed down a little bit to understand exactly what we're putting into our body or on our body, because I also have to imagine, right, you're, you're putting skin lotion on your skin. So it's, it is, it is, you know, soaking into your pores and everything. Correct. Mm hmm. Yep. It's it's reaching down in there enough. Um, you know, that a lot of people have, you know, misconceptions of like, you know, can you get high through cannabis products topically? No, you can't. There's not enough in there for it to actually reach your bloodstream and affect you that way. But yes, everything you put on your skin actually reaches down into your body. Um, that's how we're discovering now, you know, a lot of these deodorants full of chemicals and aluminum is affecting people. Um, and there's a lot of research going on right now because we're waking up to all of this. If I was a customer and I was coming to you to go to your website or just, just search products, you know, whatever product you had, what could, what condition may I possibly have that I would seek you out for help? Um, dry skin, eczema, I want to say like over 60% of my clients have some type of skin issue that they've been to more than one dermatologist for and have not been able to successfully, uh, you know, mediate their issue. Um, or they would use, uh, this prescribed topical that ends up causing other issues. Mm. So like, um, you know, I have a lot of clients that are, uh, acne tr- uh, patients yeah. and sometimes they put them on this, uh, treatment plan and things like that. But at the same time, it also like dries them out so much that they're hurting, you know, and that's where I come into play. Um, and, uh, moms. So if they're looking for my product, for their children, it would be something for, uh, natural ways, um, to alleviate pain from bug bites or rash or poison ivy or poison oak. Um, like I've been successfully able to help so many people with, uh, you know, poison ivy and poison oak and things like that. Um, and like overnight instead of three, four days with steroids and things like that. So, um, the natural way does work, um, in my experience. And I've had a lot of experience. You know, I listened to you. I listened to you mention moms. Yeah. And, and not to like make one, you know, category of, of selling your product to someone more important than the other, but I'm sitting here thinking about, okay, moms, what about a a pregnant mother who definitely wants to be careful about what they're putting in their body, right? They should be just as careful as what they're putting on their body, correct? Make sure they're not, mm-hmm. you know, they're not using a bunch of stuff that's full of chemicals. And because, you know, when when women get pregnant, I, I see this a lot where they all of a sudden they alter their thought process a little bit, right? Maybe if they yep. were a, a smoker that's, before, they quit smoking, or they if they were eating lots that's of. That's what switched my. Yeah, that's when I switched my thought process. Like the skincare company was born out of me getting pregnant. You know, I got pregnant. My skin freaked out on me. I had like a a hormonal reaction. I went to the doctor. Uh, They really couldn't test me for much because I was pregnant. So they gave me some A&D ointment and whatever. And I I suffered so much. I was on the phone with my grandma. My grandma was like, use olive oil, you know, warm olive oil and some sugar. And that opened my eyes into natural ways that I could take care of my body and take care of my baby. Yeah. I think that's extremely, um, extremely important for people to understand 
you know, how natural your product is. I mean, if I, if I, you know, I'm unfortunately never going to get pregnant. I don't believe, but, uh, you know, if I was, I definitely would be seeking out everything I possibly could to make sure I was using the best of the best, right? Because you want the best of the best yep. for for the child that you're that you're carrying. And I, I yeah, yeah, I think that you know, if if you're definitely, a, you know, I mean, anybody, you know, should look into using your product. But if you're if you're definitely like a pregnant mom or something, this should be definitely something you should be looking into and trying out. A hundred percent. Well, because your body is also going through these changes. So like as stretching, yep. um, you know, I have my sugar scrub is a hundred percent edible, wow. but it's, you know, it's, it's made with three different sugars. So they have three, you know, different acids that work naturally to exfoliate dead skin cells and help stretch marks and things like that. So, um, it alleviates, you know, the deep scarring, um, just, but it's all natural. So, and it, it helps soften and brighten and, you know, just the, the, the regular things that come from the benefits of using, um, a grapefruit and nutmeg and things like that. And, um, all of my ingredients are listed on my website. So people are able to see everything inside that jar. And when people like try these products, they're able to like after they smell it or whatever, like, oh, now I'm picking up hints of exactly what you're listening. Like, oh, here's the grapefruit and here's the cocoa behind it, you know. So you're able to actually decipher these ingredients as you're like experiencing these products, Um, you know. And then the butter is great for pregnant moms, like especially like to get a foot massage with, put socks on. It's a great moisturizer. Um, great for the bellies. Um, it's not toxic. So if you end up using it down there, it's, it's not anything that you should be afraid of. Um, so whenever you do have a baby and if you have to get stitches or, if, you know, if you're cut up or something, you can actually use this as a part of the healing process. Wow. Um, so pregnant moms, hundred percent are my client all the way around. I, I have something that can benefit them and their baby all the way around. Um, well, I'm ahead. super excited that you're that you're going to be the official skincare, you know, expert for my show. But I wanted I mentioned that we were going to give a little bit of your backstory. So it looks like you were born in Kuwait, correct? Yes. What what when did you move? Like, how old were you when you moved to the States? I was nine years old. So what was life like in Kuwait? So actually, I didn't live in Kuwait. Um, I was born in 89. And then I think a, a year or two later, the desert storm happened. Okay. Yeah. And my parents left Kuwait and they went to Jordan. And that's where my little brother was born. Okay. So and then you also mentioned something about a birthmark. I got made fun of for my birthmark. Is that what you're talking about? (laughs) Kids are so uh, mean, you said. No, no, no. Okay, so I have a birthmark (laughs) on my face, and my name is Esma, spelled (laughs) A-S-M-A. So it can be misconstrued for asthma or, uh, you know, Esme or whatever. So I got made fun of so much when I first got here because I didn't speak any English. You know, I had this thing on my face. Um, (laughs) I had a weird name. You know, I'm just not from here. So, and... I was in fourth, I had to repeat fourth grade actually when I got to San Diego because I didn't speak any English, but being made fun of pushed me to learn English so fast. And I did it like listening to NSYNC and Britney Spears, believe it or not. Wow. You listen to music to learn English. (laughs) Yes. That's crazy. Yep. And I, and I memorized lyrics and I, you know, with, uh, my pretend cousins at the time, they're my mom's close friends and they were the kids my age. Um, and we'd do these like little, we'd sing these songs and do these, like, you know, we'd be judges and stuff. And I wanted to be a part of that so much that I just quickly started memorizing and that helped me learn English like as a whole. And, um, I skipped fifth grade. So I tested, uh, out of fifth grade and I was able to skip it and I went to sixth grade and I was able to catch back up with where I was supposed to be. So, um, 
yeah, sometimes, you know, you can use people being mean to you as fuel and it can work so wonderfully. Like nobody's ever able to tell that I could have ever came from anywhere else because I don't have any kind of accent and, you know, I'm very big on grammar and stuff. But as, as long as you're willing to learn, like nobody could stop you. And I, I'm, I'm so I'm so blown away by the fact that you learned English by listening to music. <laughs> That that's that's a feat on its own. That's pretty impressive. Thank you. Is is the English language easy to learn? Um, I don't remember, but I learned it as a child, nine years old. You know, um, I also help had to help my mom. You know, because she didn't speak English, so I had I felt a lot of responsibility when I first came here, um, and. I think that motivated me too. You know, I, I think if I didn't have that type of pressure, it probably would have taken me longer to learn it. Um, and I may have had accent somewhere in there, but, um, the fact that I was so like, I just didn't, I wanted to understand these kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to be able to stand up for myself and I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to speak better than you. And that's what I did. I, I got so good that I skipped the class and I didn't have to listen to those people. Um, and it was awesome. You know, just listening to that little bit of the story makes me totally believe that I have no doubt in you as an entrepreneur, you're going to build this business into what it is that you want it to be, you know, being able Thank to you. overcome something like that. I mean, that's not easy. You know, that had to be a little bit, uh, you know, scary and challenging at the same time. You have no idea. You don't have any friends. You you know, it's a new place. Yep. You can't even speak the language. I I totally yep. have 100%. Uh, my cousin was actually being mean to me, you know, and she, you know, some kids are mean and <laughs> she'd pick on me and set me up to fail in a lot of these places, you know, like, uh, I, okay, so the whole, like, getting pictures you know, when you go to class and you get your picture yeah. taken, yep. picture day, we didn't have that overseas. So coming here, you know, I didn't know how the thing works. And I was exchanging pictures with people and, you know, learned about boyfriends and things like that. And I got in <laughs> so much trouble. Like, you know, I, I didn't, you know, but after I learned, I never made those mistakes again, you know, um, and that's all it takes is, you know, do you take it as a, as a loss or as a lesson? Well, and yeah, I, definitely I've a lesson, right? Taken it as a lesson. You know, always. any, any losses or, or failure, right? People say failures, you know, I always said that failure is one of the best F words you could ever use because that's mm -hmm. where we, that's where we learn. That's where we grow. If we don't have failures, we're, our growth potential is going to be very, either it's going to be a lot slower or it's not going to happen. We have to yep. grow through our through our, our failures and our attempts. We're not going to be successful at everything we do. You know how many times it took Edison to make the light bulb? You know how many failure failures he had before that? If he didn't continue mm -hmm. trying, I don't I don't know, you know, what would have happened. But we're gonna have so many of them that come our way. And I know that you've had challenges along the way, but we're going to. But listening to you tell some of those that story just leads me to believe and totally understand that there's not gonna be an issue with you taking this company where you where you want it to go just by listening to your passion about it right the reason, the reason why you created the company wasn't to make money it was to help people and that's pure entrepreneur yes. that 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 is that is the pure definition of being an entrepreneur and owning a company a lot of people get it backwards they think Making it's well a difference. right they think oh okay i'll get this company i'll become an entrepreneur i can make my own schedule i can do what i want that that is not the reason that you create a company or that you own a company. You only own a company to solve a, a problem for a customer. And if you're not solving that problem better than the next guy, your your company probably isn't going to do that well. But if you if you go into it just thinking, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be rich, right? Look at all these guys that own these companies and and are and have all these things and you're there to solve a problem. Plain and simple. That's it. Without the problem, the company doesn't need to exist. So your yep. your ish your you 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 can definitely help. God, you can help anybody. There's a big problem right now. Huge problem. Yeah. Um. Yep. So and, you know, especially because of COVID, you know, we went into hyper disposable. Yeah. Um. Um. 
let's, and there's a lot of toxic stuff that we got to fight. But but even let's talk aware. about that for a second. COVID. There there still are people who are paranoid to touch things, right? Get maybe yep. not. You know, it, it did create a lot of paranoia in the world. You know, was it real? Sure, I'm, I believe the virus was real. I had it. I got sick. Do I believe that it should have caused a lot of this uh, panic and hysteria that it did? No, I don't. No. I think there was an agenda behind everything that happened. I think them shutting down the country was done purpose. Of, you know, on purpose. We can talk about that yeah. at another time. But you know, yeah. it put a lot of companies out of business, and I think that was their main goal. But you know, what about yeah. your product with something like that? Do you? What about you? So know, I launched. What, I launched right before COVID. Um, and my packaging got stuck in COVID for wow. 10 months. 10 months? So I, 10 months. Ah, because I guess everything kind of shut down, right? Gosh, yes, yes. And a lot of, there was so much stuck at the port on the boat, yeah. you know, um, for months. So I was one of those people, unfortunately. But I just used that time to build awareness. And I just, uh, I went physically pop up events and festivals and I just talk to people. Yeah, so you pivoted. And, right? And that's what yep, a real yep, entrepreneur needs just, to do and a real business owner needs to do when they face challenges. They pivot in another direction and that's what you did. Yep. Yeah, I th I think one of my this, favorite words. Oh, you like the word pivot? Yes. Are you a friends? Do you ever have you ever watched Friends? Yeah. <laughs> so Friends the TV show, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. You remember the episode with Pivot? No. Oh, no, you, you know. got to find it. You know, I don't watch much TV, but I will I will look it up. Well, because will, you're I'll, busy, right? And that's it. what that's what happens to business yeah. owners. We're busy. Yep. We don't have a lot yep. of downtime, a lot of TV time, but you do need to make some time for yourself, right? Man, as soon as I turn the TV on, I'm snoring in like two minutes. <laughs> you sound like, like me. <laughs> I can't. I don't stay long enough watching TV. Um <laughs> <laughs> I try to, you know, just for my daughter because she likes to have, you know, movie night and things right. like that. And that's that's that time you got to create. And I really do try to stay awake. But, man, I'll eat a couple pieces of popcorn and I'm just out. <laughs> doesn't matter where we're at, you know. <laughs> All right. I had promised um, my but, listeners and I promised you that we would get into a lot of your backstory. But it looks like we do okay. not have time to do that right now. So we are going to do that. Okay. But before we before we end this episode of many, because you are a a I'm regular so guest pumped. of the show, right? So you will be on. Yeah. We're, let's try to get you on twice a month. I've if, committed. If, if not more than that, we can we could have you on once a week if you wanted. We can do twice. Let's let's start it at two. You know, every two weeks we'll get you on an episode, and we'll get sharing your information, your story, your product line. We'll, we'll definitely get into more of the conversations about the product line, break it down more so everybody can understand exactly what we're talking about. But yeah. before we'll, we... we'll just talk about the importance of, you know, we live in 23. We, you know, we live in a beautiful era where we could revolutionize the way we think, you know, um, with all these benefits of technology, there also needs to be a balance. And I'm just, I'm here to help with that balance. Yes, there does need um, to be a balance. Sometimes if you, if, you, if you listen to me, I think sometimes technology took us a little bit backwards more than it did forward. But, yeah. Um, you know, we can always talk about that kind of I stuff, could, too. Yeah. I have a lot of opinions yeah. on what's going on in the world. Some people agree with me. A lot of people don't. But to be honest with you, I really don't care. So um, before we end, okay. I have a question for you, a little bit of a fun question. I sometimes okay. ask this of my guest. If you could possess one superpower, what would it be? Um, it would be, it really wouldn't be a superpower if I was just let loose to do what I want to do. You know, if I didn't have any holdbacks of insecurities or um, capital or things like that, it would be, you know, that would be my. Let's, man, let's, di be, let's, di fun. let's dive into fun. Esma. Let's, let's okay. put away the business. Super, We're not. Uh, I would manipulate stuff. Wait, what? I would manipulate things. 
So like you would, would you would want the really power of manipulation, not people, but things. Yes. Well, that's that's pretty cool. Give me an example. Um. So, uh, let's say, and uh, if I have a thought in my head, I want to be able to take these material objects and create a, a thing that would help me with ocean cleanup. I want to be able to manipulate things, like material things. To make them come to the light, to life, and what I see them. Wow, I like it. Because right, I always picture like all these innovative things, but I have no. I'm not an engineer. You know what I mean? That's completely outside of my realm. Right. But if I could manipulate material things, then I could create all these really cool things that would help make our lives more mindful. I like it. I like it. Sometimes I'll yep. throw those things out there for my guests just so we can have a little bit of fun, you know. So probably at yeah. the end of every well, one of our think. episodes. I was like, well, what would I do? Yeah, yeah, right. It makes you think. You're not yeah. you know, and it's not something I prepared you for. So, you know, it just yeah. it just throws you in that moment and you have to give an answer. Um, a lot of times mm -hmm. maybe towards the end of these episodes, I'll be throwing some curveballs your way just to see, you know, how how does your how does your brain really operate? What what do you you know, how do you how do you really think so that everybody can get a really good idea? of your thought processes yeah. and how they work. Cool. Well, Esma, I really appreciate you coming on. And I'm, again, I'm really looking forward to you being our sole expert on skincare. We have a lot of listeners, a lot of viewers. People definitely could use your product. Um, you would definitely I'm have a lot honored. to offer. I, 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 love, I love your backstory. We didn't get into it, but we're gonna. So everybody listening to this, get ready because we got a really... Really, really, really cool backstory with Esma, and we're gonna we're gonna share it. Uh, man, I'm just I'm here to offer value my my experience. I want to give people that holistic option, you know. Um, so I'm really, really excited about this. Thank yeah. you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Much. You don't have um, to thank me. I appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate what you're trying to do for the world. You know, I I feel thank that you we for have everybody listening. Yeah, we have an obligation, right, as invent innovators, creators, entrepreneurs, business owners yep. to to give back and create that vision continuing for the next generations to come. So, you know, I, f I feel we have that obligation. And the more people that I, I can talk to like you, the better off we will be for the future. Absolutely. I agree to that. Well, thank you very much for coming on. I hope you have a, a great night. Um here it is, seven quarter to eight. So the boy, the nights go quick, don't they? Mm hmm. Today went by fast. <laughs> well, it's good because <laughs> maybe sometimes when it's yep. going by fast, means you're busy. Not enough time to look at the clock, right? Which we shouldn't be staring at the clock. We should be busy being productive. Yeah, we should be in the moment. Yes. All right, Esma. I will talk to you soon. Um, Thank you. Let's let's try to shoot for next week and get you back on so we can get your story told. Okay. Let's do, um, well, you, you give me your schedule. You, you message me your schedule and we'll get it worked out. Okay. All right. Okay. We All can right. do that earlier in the week would probably work better for me next week. I'm, I'm good to go any, any night next week. Probably. I mean, if you want to do similar times, six thirty or seven o'clock, let's do it. Okay. All right. All right. I'll, I'll definitely circle back with you on that. All right. You message me and we will talk soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good night. You too. I'll be remembered, what were you? Phil McDonald's the baddest that I would turn to. CEO with the shit that's a dope motherfucker. You always win. There's no going under at the top of the crown. Rest thing on his head. The beast is alive, he'll never be dead. If he drunk before, bring it back to life. Push harder for it. Let us survive. Show courage and strength. It's okay to be scared, but don't let it stop you. Always stay prepared. Bill, show me school. They're just not beginning. Winners fucking win, losers. Talk about winning.